Hello everyone, today's topic for biochemistry in just 3 minutes is urea cycle. Urea cycle is a metabolic reaction where toxic ammonia is converted into the non-toxic urea inside the liver and the intracellular site is partially mitochondrial as well as partially cytosolic just like that of heme synthesis. So the first step of the urea cycle is the condensation of bicarbonate with ammonia in the presence of carbamyl phosphate synthetase 1 which results in the synthesis of carbamyl phosphate. Carbamyl phosphate synthetase 1 is the ligase type of enzyme. Fine, and over here there is a utilization of two molecules of ATP, and the CPS1 is the rate limiting enzyme for the urea cycle. Remember, there is a, another enzyme CPS2 which is required for the synthesis of pyrimidine and it is present in the cytosol. CPS1 is activated by the N acetyl glutamate, and this N acetyl glutamate is formed by the combination of acetyl CoA and glutamate. And the level of N acetyl glutamate will be more when we consume more amount of protein in the diet. So, that is the first step of the urea cycle. And the the regulation of CPS1 as well as the regulation of urea cycle. Now the second reaction, the carbamyl phosphate, the carbamyl group from the carbamyl phosphate will be transferred to the ornithin in the presence of ornithin transcarbamylase enzyme which results in a synthesis of citrulline and this particular step will also occur in a mitochondria. Fine, now all the remaining step of the urea cycle will occur in a cytosol. So in the third reaction, the amino nitrogen from the aspartate reacts with the citrulline in the presence of arginosuccinate synthetase enzyme which will result in a formation of arginosuccinate and over here two inorganic phosphates are utilized. Remember in the structure of urea there is a presence of two nitrogen. One nitrogen will be coming from the ammonia and another nitrogen will be coming from the aspartate. Now in the remaining reaction arginosuccinate will be cleaved into fumarate and arginine via arginosuccinate lyase enzyme. And the fumarate which is synthesized over here will enter into the TCA cycle while arginine will undergo hydrolytic cleavage by arginase enzyme and it will be converted into the urea and ornithin. Urea will be excreted in the urine via kidney while ornithin which was utilized in the second step of urea cycle is synthesized back in the fifth reaction of urea cycle. So we can also say that urea cycle is a ornithin cycle. Fine and the normal level of urea in the blood is 15 to 45 milligram per deciliter. In the now energetics of urea cycle, so total 4 uh, ATPs are utilized for the urea cycle and the fumarate which is synthesized over here will enter into the TCA cycle and will give rise to the 2.5 molecules of ATP. So the net utilization of uh, ATP will be 1.5 molecules of ATP. And oxaloacetate in the TCA cycle will undergo transamination and will result in a synthesis of aspartate which will be utilized over here and the fumarate which is synthesized over here will enter into the TCA cycle. So sometimes urea cycle is also called as a urea bicycle because it is connected with the TCA cycle. So that is all about urea cycle. Thank you.